Hi Scorpio, this is going to be a general love reading for April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs and it is general so not going to resonate for all of you but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs if you want and do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed and if you want a personal reading please look at all the information that is in the description box. Let's see, Scorpio, what is going on in April? Oh, wow. <laughs> well, look at that. All right, we have Twin Flame and we have Return. All right, so you don't have to get stuck on the label. This card just represents the fact that this is a divine connection okay it's a very strong um, powerful soulmate connection and for those of you that do resonate with the twin flame um, concept then yes all right this could be your twin flame that we were talking about here so if you do not feel that this is a very strong connection with the person that you are watching for this might not be your reading all right and we also have return so I feel like yeah you know there is um, going to be some kind of a coming back um, from this person if you have not been in contact and even if you are in contact it could just be a return to something from the past to something to a way of being that was missing um, more recently all right let's see So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First half of April. The moon just flipped over. I swear, we keep getting this card for you like every time, right? So there could still be certain things that you feel like you're not really sure of what is going on here, um, feeling like maybe certain things are being hidden or you're just doubting what is going on. Let's see, for the situation we have the Two of Swords crossed by the Knight of Swords. Alright, well that doesn't really feel like Scorpio energy to me, but um, yeah, it feels like a little bit of just being someone being a lot in their headspace, somebody really not knowing, I feel what is going on, um, possibly whether there is action being taken, whether there is not action being taken, if you already feel like there is this return, um, it might be that, you know, you're not sure whether you um, believe it or you don't know how stable it's actually going to be. Let's see, recent past, we have the Ace of Cups. Near future, we have the Magician. Yeah, so there was definitely a time period here where you just felt this bond, you felt this love um, very, very strongly, I feel, with this person. And there is something being manifested here, even coming up. We'll see when we clarify. For your energy, we have the Queen of Pentacles. For them, the Hanging Man. More about you here, the Lovers. For them, the Three of Swords. And potential outcome here is the Nine of Wands. All right, yeah, so there's, I mean, already just seeing a lot of love here with the Ace of Cups and the Lovers both being out here on the table. Um, I feel like you've been working on yourself a lot. You have really um, put some effort into getting in touch with your own self, with um, finding your self-worth, and just taking care of you, trying to be the best version of you that you can be. Um, and I feel like you've been succeeding at that. And at the same time, you're still holding on to this connection that you still feel a lot of love. You would still want to come together with this person, obviously. Um, your person here, I feel like they they have been a little bit, um, they have seemed to be a little bit stagnant. I feel like whereas you feel like you have been moving forward, finding yourself, it feels like, you know, your person has actually been moving a lot slower here with the Hanging Man. I don't see it as them being stagnant. I actually see them as just not taking action, but using that time to really 
figure things out within themselves and to see things from a different perspective. I feel like it's just that you're already seeing your results in some way or another. Whereas they're still kind of, you know, a step behind. There's still something that they're working on healing here. There's a lot of pain that they are in, regardless of whether they're showing this to you or not. <laughs> and as I'm speaking, I just happened to glance at the bottom of the deck here and we have the lovers again. So just reinforcing the um, twin flame or, or divine soulmate connection here. So definitely there's things that are happening here, all right, with the magician. I do feel like this we'll see when we clarify but this could be that you know this return is being manifested or maybe it already has and but yeah potential outcome with the nine of wands i feel like there's still a little bit of resistance it feels like there's still some way to go here before things can feel you know a hundred percent with this person let's clarify and see So let me see that two of swords with the knight of swords. All right, we have the five of swords, the knight of swords again, and the ten of cups. Yeah, see, so somebody is, I feel like whoever it is that's, um, well, it's your person. It's your person that's that hasn't really been taking much action here. I feel like they have... It's coming in two ways. Number one, they have been stagnating, right? But like, it's like a productive type of a stagnating. Just not taking much action. The, although it's productive, there's also that sense of it being a little bit um, deceiving. And I feel what's deceiving is the fact that it's being hidden from you how they truly feel. And what it is that they would truly want, which is this Ten of Cups with you, alright? They're, they're definitely feeling that. However, with the Five of Swords and the Knight of Swords, and also having the Knight of Swords in the challenge posi position, this is it. It's kind of like a self-sabotage when it comes to them taking action towards that happiness. All right. But it's it's deceitful in the sense that, well, it's well, they're holding themselves back from happiness. But at the same time, they are also not showing that to you. So you can't see it. So the second part of this that I'm getting is that you are the one not being able to see exactly what is going on. And this might be creating some hesitations and some doubts and just... Um, not really being able to see what's really going on, but I feel like that's actually okay, that it was meant to be that way. And again, even though it is um, deceitful in a way because they're not, to themselves, because they're not moving towards that their happiness, I still feel like even that is a part of it because through that, there's something here that they are learning. Let me see the Queen of Pentacles for your energy. All right, got quite a bit here. We have the Four of Cups, Temperance, the Eight of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. All right, yeah, so as I said, you you have been working on yourself and I feel like there has been a lot that you have healed within yourself, yet at the same time, obviously, you're still feeling, um, you feel ignored. Um, so it could be that this person may have blocked you or maybe was ignoring you or just, you know, you just felt them being very, very passive. And I feel like that kind of created you, this energy within you to just want to go, 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 you know, do, do, do. And so for a lot of you, I feel like that manifested in you actually being able to take care of yourself and to do something for yourself. So I feel like that was actually one of the reasons why things may have played out in this way. Um, whether you realize it or not, I feel like you use that to your advantage. If it, it's kind of, it, the way it's coming into me is kind of like this person was not able to give to you, like they just weren't there providing you, like you were giving more than they were giving to you. So maybe you were the one always calling them, you were the one always um, initiating 
or just putting in effort to resolve issues, for example, and they weren't able to reciprocate that back to you. And it's like because of that, that created a lot of dissatisfaction for you. And then that pushed you in some way to really heal certain aspects or certain um, things within yourself and to become more creative, to just um, become more nurturing to yourself and to really find your self-worth. So pretty interesting actually. Let me see the lovers. All right, the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so it could be that, you know, you felt so tied up with this connection here to the point where it may have been keeping you trapped from being able to move forward in some way. And I feel like you finally have begun to come out of that. And you are able to just start planting your own seeds. Whether it is for yourself or whether it is um, for work, financially, um, something in your environment, you know, just really doing something that is going to take care of you. Kind of, I, I'm seeing this, uh, you know, oftentimes with this card we say planting the seeds. In this image we see a woman um, watering a plant and nurturing it. And I feel like this is pretty much what you're doing to yourself. It's like watering, you know, giving water, giving that nourishment, that oxygen, that healing that potential for, for growth to your own soul, to your own self. And coming out of that um, fear or being trapped in this connection. So let's see what's going on with them. Let me see the hanging man. All right, the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and Justice. All right, interesting. Yeah, so this person is actually, I feel, they can, they're picking up on what you've been doing for your own self, and I feel like that makes you more, um, a lot more attractive. They're still holding back here with the, seven of, um, with the Seven of Wands. So yeah, it could be that there is a return, okay, in some way or another. But I feel like even this return is going to come with its, with, with a little bit of defensiveness. A little bit of um, a little bit of holding back. Either way, again, with the having the justice card here showing up, I do feel like this person is on the right path. They are making decisions. I feel like it's just happening happening in a way where it's very subtle. It's um, it there's still a lot of work that they are doing within. And this is related to you. Um, I feel like you are actually. You're giving them that motivation, even if it's from afar. All right, I mean, maybe they are, maybe they can see you on social media, maybe they find out about you, but I'm getting very strongly here that they do know in some way, on some level, even if it's just subconscious, that, that you have moved forward when it comes to um, how you see your own self and what you are actually doing practically for your own self. See the three of swords. All right, the eight of cups, the emperor, and the page of swords. Yeah, so again, I mean, I don't oftentimes say this with this card, but I do feel like they have been following you. Like in some way, they are either researching what you're what you're up to if you're in if you're not in communication, or if you are in communication, if they have come back. All right, if there was a separation, they're very curious as to what has been going on with you. Um, they still haven't resolved um, a lot of pain that they have been carrying. And it could be from this connection, it could be from something in their past. But with the Eight of Cups being here, I do see them um, slowly but surely detaching from whatever that is. And I say slowly because we do have the hanged man here and the seven of wands. I just feel like they're doing more than what you are able to see, all right? Because we also have the emperor. So they're, they are standing really, um, I feel strong in their own power. They are, I feel like they're, they're really beginning to 
fix certain things within themselves and to heal certain, um, possibly even moving away from certain attachments. Okay, for some of them, it may have even been addictions. I'm not specifically seeing that, but with the way it's just coming through to me here with that Eight of Cups, moving away from something that has been causing them um, pain. And I feel like they're doing that actually pretty successfully, but I feel like they're just still at a beginning um, phase of that. Really researching at the moment. That's coming through with the Hanging Man as well. So let's see. Let's see this magician in the near future because something is being manifested here. All right. The Chariot, the Devil, and the Three of Swords. There's a... You, I, I can't help but see this in a positive light. But yes, see, I was talking about for some of them possibly having addictions or some kind of attachments, a negative attachment, which could even be related to another commitment, for example. It could be anything. It could be fear. It could even be a fear of commitment. I feel like what is being manifested here is action. All right, with that chariot. Action based, which is going to be based on those issues. All right, whatever that devil is, because I have just a very positive um, sense here with that magician. It The way it's coming through to me is that, yes, this person is undergoing a lot of pain. Here it is showing up again for them, all right? They have the three of swords twice. There's a lot of pain here, and I feel like that pain for a lot of them is not only... Um, for some of them, it might be attached to you, okay? Maybe something that was toxic between the two of you. It could be something that they had done in the past or pain that they caused you. And for others, it is the pain of whatever that attachment is that they have that they are trying to move away from, okay, with that chariot. They are taking action here and they are actually manifesting some action when it comes to that attachment, that toxicity, whatever that is for each of you in your particular situation. So we're, we have movement from them, um, you know, just reflecting on it researching to actually taking action here, manifesting that action. So let's see the Nine of Wands for the potential outcome. Alright, we have the King of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, so again, it feels like, as I said with this card before, it does feel like there's still a little bit of way to go. Okay, that whatever it is that's going on here, I feel like it's not easy for your person. I feel like you are, at the moment, you're faring um, a lot better than they are in terms of having found yourself, finding that self-worth, and really progressing and making things happen for yourself releasing attachments, you know, coming out of whatever it is that's keeping you stuck. For them, they're doing the same thing, but just it's taking a little bit more time and there's a little bit of... I feel like they're just having a hard time um, dealing with the difficulties of it. That determination is definitely there, all right, with the King of Swords. There's definitely determination and there's definitely action at the same time to release that burden. Why? Because they know that that's their way to get to you. They really want this with you. Um, it's just that I feel like for each of you it's going to be different, but there's still some struggles that might um, play out for them. But I love that we're finishing off with that Queen of Wands because I'm seeing that as, you know, just their desire for you and how they're viewing you as so confident and that this is what they want to move towards. I don't see them giving up. All right, we have the King of Swords and I'm seeing persistence here, no matter how hard it is. All right, Scorpio, so if this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. All right, we have vast vistas, expand your horizons. You know, I feel like you're doing that. You're doing that within yourself and just it, you're focusing on other things, not just on this situation, all right, which is what I was saying before about you getting untrapped 
from this. You are expanding your horizons and I feel like they are too. Even if it is by being in this hanging man energy just for a little while to figure things out. Because we do have progression to action. So yeah, Scorpio, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.